While these uncertain times are certainly painful to go through, COVID-19 has been the giant reset button that this world has needed. I know that I've needed it in my own life, and I really needed to examine some of the habits that I had and maybe some of the things that I wanted to incorporate in my life now that everything's been turned upside down. My friend Candace Shearling is going on a 30-day journey to incorporate some new habits into her life, and I thought, why not join her? Well, fast forward a couple of weeks, and this journey that Candace and I are on have turned into a two-part series where I'm going to be showing you some of the ways that we're looking at our life and then moving forward and creating new habits, but also creating a community for you to join us and talk about your journey as well. Want to come with us? Hey friends, it's Leanne, and when COVID-19 hit, my life got turned upside down, as I suspect most of yours did as well. And if it wasn't upside down, at least it was a little bit sideways. And after a few weeks, I realized maybe this upside down life isn't the worst thing to happen to me after all, because it's given me a new perspective on how I approach my daily life and all the habits that come along with that. Then I had the great opportunity to chat with my friend Candace, and she was looking at this also as an opportunity to incorporate some new healthier habits in her life. And I thought, well, this is easy. I'm going to be home for 30 days. I can do this habit changing challenge as well. Well, as with all things in my life, I wanted to create a system that worked. And in creating that system, I have documented my journey and now created something for you to use as well. So today we're talking about part one of this 20,000 foot view of our lives and creating some changes that we can implement as we're starting in our new normal and our new routine of being home for the next 30 days. Because when it comes to the rest of your life, 30 days or even 60 days, 90 days is a very small investment in making choices that can affect your future joy, your future happiness, your future balance. And that's what I'm trying to do. There's still tons of time for me to make a great impact in the industry, a great impact on my family, on my physical health and my mental health. So this 30-day challenge, I'm hoping, turns into another 30-day challenge and so on and so forth. But today, what I want to show you is where I started in determining what was going to be my next 30 days. So why don't you come with me and I'll show you what I did. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right now, there's a lot of great COVID content, but in addition, I'm still producing meetings industry related content, especially for you partners out there that are in this transition time of being busy, busy at the hotel and waiting for the industry to start up again. Tons of great stuff coming, so make sure that you subscribe. Okay, so let me share how I'm turning a magnifying glass on my life. Before I started the challenge, and this is where you are today right now, I took a 20,000 foot view of every area of my life and made some notes about how I was feeling in that certain area. And if this was an area of my life that I wanted to improve or develop some new habits over the next 30 days. Now, in this process, I defined 16 areas of my life. And maybe when you go through the exercise, which you can given my free worksheet that's coming, you, can, you might identify some additional areas as well. 16 is a lot of areas, but in 30 days, what I wanted to do was just identify one or two areas that I really wanted to focus on. So the different areas that I examined start from how I'm feeling about my physical health, how I'm feeling about my mental health. What does my morning routine look like? What does my family life look like? Am I partaking in the things that bring me joy? And so on and so forth. And before you start to doodle all of these notes, don't forget I have a free worksheet. You don't have to write a thing down. You'll get a link to that worksheet and download it yourself and you can fill it in. 
I'm not going to lie, this exercise took me a while to go through, but at the end of it, I was able to really hone in on some of the things that I wanted to work on in these next 30 days, and I'm hopeful that you will too. So take your time going through the worksheet, be honest with yourself, because that's really the only way that you'll be able to truly identify what it is you want to work on and the areas that you feel you've got a pretty good handle on right now. So if this is something that you want to work on, like I said, I've got it all laid out for you. Part one here is the worksheet where you look at all the different areas of focus in your life. And you can download this worksheet and get started right away. When we come back next week, it's going to be part two. And that's where the rubber hits the road. And part two is going to look phenomenal. We're going to walk you through what areas of focus to work on, but also give you an opportunity to join something I've never done before in this community, and that is to create a community. We're going to come together in a Facebook group as well as with weekly webinars so that we can go through our progress and start to bounce ideas off of each other and find resource and community in one another as we go on this journey. So if this sounds like something that would interest you, head on over to leannecalderwood.com, download the worksheet, and come circle back with me in a week's time for part two. And if this 20,000 view exercise is not your idea of a good time, that's okay. But remember, this could be a once in a lifetime opportunity where we can take a pause and create some change in our life before the normalcy of busyness creeps back into our daily schedules. And if you're just looking for some simple productivity tips, I've outlined some tips in the blog post and vlog above here. Simply find something that resonates with your style and make something new this month. I do hope to see you back here next week for part two. Enjoy the exercise and we'll see you then. Bye for now.